You know, everybody's got fear, and I notice this all the time in my work. I refuse to live in fear in any way. I refuse to be paranoid. I am not a paranoid person, nor will I ever be. If you're not willing to speak openly and freely and on the record about this with me, then I'm unwilling to conduct this interview. So it's up to you, not me, how this is going to go. I don't got time to be paranoid and to dance around untruths, half-truths, disinformation, misinformation. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, you know? And even if they do watch, what are they going to see? All they're going to see is somebody trying to figure some shit out. They consider you an asset rather than try to shut you up. But who knows what the agendas are. All I know is I got nothing to fear. Never been threatened ever a day in my life about this stuff. We're being indoctrinated by the powers that be for many, many years now. There seems to be a huge plan of indoctrination for us to come to terms with the fact that not only are we not alone, but the contact has been occurring at pivotal times in human history for uh, centuries. It's all about control. The, the, the bottom line is that they want a technological advantage. If they have a technological advantage, then they're a superior nation, and every nation covets this stuff to the highest degree, unless the truth is even stranger than that. That's the obvious truth, is that our government would want to have a technological leg up on everybody. The true architects of this deception is not our government or any government on the world, it's the visitors themselves. If they wanted to be revealed, they would reveal themselves. So the weirder thing would be to cover it up not for a technological advantage, but because the truth is stranger than we can possibly even think. Now, if they're traveling here from unknown origins, either far away from another star system or interdimensionally, obviously their physics and understanding of the known universe is way better than ours, so we're not going to stop them from waving their fucking galactic hand and saying hello. They're the ones who are deciding not to reveal themselves, but in these very small, minute, and strange ways. And that's one of the major kind of revelations or theories of this contact, which is definite. There is contact with non-humans to our planet in hardship that we call UFOs. It's very strange to say it loud, but it is in fact true. And a lot of people say that the technological exchange that's been going on is far beyond aeronautics and far beyond basic physics, that it actually goes way back into genetic alterations of Homo sapiens sapien, and that we ourselves are genetically modified by these beings for some sort of purpose. I don't know about that. And I'm just reporting the news. One thing I do know for sure is that, you know, these beings absolutely exist and they are visiting from where I don't know, their agenda I don't know. So uh, that's just how it is, man. You got to discern for yourself reality.